honestly, I'm watching this kid and I don't even know how he does it. He didn't even click on. Look at this kid. He's so good, dude. He's not even watching anymore. Hello guys, it's Ari's door with a new Magnator video. Today we're gonna react and we're gonna watch Panda Magnus. This guy, he's a fan of he's a big fan of mine, honestly. He loves my Magnus. I have him on Steam for like years. And from what I watch, I can only say that he is slick as hell. You know, everybody who plays Magnus and watches my streams and my games and my Magnus games, they are slick. Magnus players, players, guys, all right? They're slick. It's like, there's no, like, whatever, man. Let's get into the game. Let's go, boys. So what I noticed is he's different in terms of, like, starting item builds and even, like, later stages of it. Like, a bit different in terms of, like, look here. He bought branches and tangles. I think... Right here, he should have skilled Skewer and Skewer is budge in tower and just probably almost solo kill him, I'm not sure. But, you know, safe is safe. So as you can see, he went for the 4, four branch build straight up into bottle and he's just chilling. I think this lane, it's Magnus favorite. There is no way this budge is gonna, you know, kill you or something like that. Unless you misplay really bad and you can always like cure him in tower with the shockwave like we see here easy cut and this kid is getting fucking wrecked and he's about to die here and he's dead on my screen i don't know about your screens but on my screen it says that panda killed the pudge so yeah jokes aside this this lane is you know it's very hard for pudge it's a hard lane. If you play against a good Magnus player, if you play against a against a bad Magnus player, you're gonna be totally fine on the punch. So as you can see, he went for the level two skewer, level three, just too OP, in turn, especially on mid lane, because the range and damage and the punch is getting uh, harassed a lot in this lane. So doing very good on Magnus right now, and the old chat. From the El Putga, crying about a hero like Magnus, dude. He's doing a very good job on Magnus to control runes. Uh, and I like this Windlace. It, it's an important detail in terms, of, in terms of movement speed and stuff like that, you know? Especially in a lane, like against a melee hero. And again, his skewer is the Pudge here and he's probably gonna die with Pudge, yeah. So I like this Windlace. To be honest, I'm gonna try this Windlace on Magnus. I don't really buy it, but from what I saw, it it just feels good. You know, it just feels feels good, man. You know what I mean? And he's doing really good. Like honestly, he's stomping this kid. To be fair, at some point when you're already died two times or even one time to a Magnus as a melee hero mid, and you still walking into creeps like that, it's a form of disrespect because. You know, it's nothing good that's gonna come out of it. And that's exactly what happened. Just easy RP, and the Pudge is dead, and the Magnus is like 3 0 versus uh, Pudge mid. Like, okay. okay. So I also noticed from uh, this player is that he's very fast in terms of reactions. And you guys will see later why. Here he gets a really good. Imagine if he started cast Meteor earlier, and they, they catch him with, like, oh my god, that would have been insane with the Dark Willow ulti and stuff like that. So he went the Meteor Hammer build, which I love it. I absolutely love Meteor Hammer or Magnus. Honestly, I love it so much. But he went Mana Boots before Meteor Hammer. So sometimes I like to go... If I play offlane, I like to go straight Meteor Hammer. If I'm... I feel like I'm doing really good in the lane. But most of times you should go Mana Boots first. And the meter hammer, they cannot defend the tower, and it's like the tower is dead. And he's going for a play, but no. This particular moment, I've been in this situation so many times with my Magnus when I have meteor hammer. If they just had one more support or like just hero in general here reacting, they would have gotten a team wipe. He gets jumped here, kind of dodges in a way the static storm or maybe the disruptor failed. I don't like this roar. But look at them, they're, like, they're so low HP, they just want plus one, just tickies or anyone. 
but unfortunately it went bad in the end one thing i will say that i'm not doing that much when i play magnus is stacking and being more efficient in terms of like farming and stuff this guy he's been stacking he's buying wards and smokes like he's a real like he's trying real hard like, like what the hell is this you know i'm too lazy to do these stuffs but sometimes i do it as well this guy gets a plus here for this efficiency you know he went blink per, uh second after meteor hammer i like it usually what i do as well unless i go four step first and get a jump here on the punch blink into skewer Peter Hammer, dude, his clutch is tanky, dude. And the tech is jumping in. It's really clutch. By tech is really. It's kind of saved Magnus' life there. And yeah, just the timing is very good. Let's see his network. Just 10k network, minute 16. This guy has monster farm right now. And I like that he's buying these wards and sentries. Like, what the hell is this? Like, I've never seen this. There's a fucking. There's <coughs> a core player on mid lane Magnus, dude. Buying wards and sentries all the time, just warding cliffs to do warding. Always has a smoke in, in his inventory. I mean, I also buy smokes from Magnus, but this guy is next level. Notice something here. When I buy either lands, I usually disassemble my mana boots and I keep brown boots. And maybe later stages, if I buy Octarine, I go mana boots again. But he decides to attack again and just farm and buy another energy booster and keep the arcane boots on him as well you know he doesn't like to disassemble but this is really cool especially if you're rushing refresher like he wants to do here you see in his uh, quick buy he wants to go refresher straight so he definitely has mana with this build to just use double rp and skewer and whatever but this is interesting pro uh, recognition here you only need a glimpse of a second on an enemy as a magnus player who just skewer that kid away and kidnap him, you know? It, it is what it is. This is this is like slick place. So he went for staff. They're looking for a fight. Again, he has this smoke on him, he doesn't want to pop it. I think it's uh, whatever. Oh, nice skewer into two man RP here. And meteor hammer. That is clean. I like clean place. Very good. Very clutch. Just the difference, dude, between a standard good player, good Magnus player, don't get me wrong. There are a lot of good Magnus players on pubs where they just don't play like this. They just play, you know, you know they play the standard, the standard brute force Magnus when they go like Vanguard and stuff. And they play good, like they get RP off, they get skewers off, they kill people, they lane good. But, you know, it's a different recipe when you do my playstyle. It's a different recipe, bro. And here... We can see they're pushing. He solo smokes. He's looking for a good position. That's a really good position in the trees right there. And he probably wants to jump inside the base. I can already imagine me doing this and pressing, pressing a scan over there. He has cooldown on scan. But anyways, this is a very good position to be in, like, especially if you're smoked. And he has the arcane run. And he saw the monkey there, as you can see, he just saw him a glimpse and then he decided, like, and he knew that it's the proper time to go. It was very fast as well, like, holy crap, that is a fast turn. Unlock unfortunately, the monkey jumped away before the RP hit, so... Oh, like I said, he finished, uh... He has refresher, he's selling the meteor hammer. I would have dropped, uh, he didn't have gold, though, if he didn't sell the meteor hammer there for the refresher. And let's see the refresher to work. Blinks into Static Storm. RP on Axe. Let's see, let's see. Skewer. Refresh! Skewer! It's very fast. Very good play. So this is what I mean. That he's very fast on his combos and his spell usage, you know? There are players that sometimes you your brain lags and, you know, you just blow. But not this guy. This guy is fast, dude. He's like a Lamborghini. So again, Aegis on Slark now. Pushing high ground, typical Magnus push with four staff and blink ready to go. You know, he's scanning these kids, blinks in. Solo RP, unfortunately. He wanted to RP the axe as well. I want to talk about something and let's watch this play again, guys. Alright, guys, so I'm gonna pause here and I wanna talk about this. Usually, 
I mean, I did this play that he did sometimes, but not all the time. Usually how you do it is that when you are ready to blink here, let's say he wants to blink here, right? So he wants to blink here to force blink RP. You blink in this spot when the disruptor is or whatever, and then you turn, you click RP, you select skewer to use, and then you move your camera. You know what I mean? You get my point? But the way he, do he does it, and he did it a few times this game, is that he blinked in and he turned, and by the time his hero finished the turning uh, move, his camera is already here, dude. Like, his camera is already on the slark and skewering him, like the enemy. So, he doesn't know that he RP'd only the disruptor. He thinks that he RP'd two heroes here, which is not really a bad thing, because, I mean, it is what it is. The important thing is that he finished the play without getting, I don't know, called or disabled or stuff like that. But the way he does it, is that he blinks in, he turns, and by the time the turn action finishes on Magnus, his camera is already here, which is like, like holy crap, like what the hell is this? Let's watch it again in slow motion. So he sees them here, all right? And you see, he RPs and then he, he moves the camera instantly, which is like really fast. And again, this guy is very fast. Like, honestly, I don't know. Very fast reactions. Uh, dodges the tiny stun there. He has repressure. Four man, three man RP, whatever. I think he skewered too early here. What you need to do usually, you want to chain a bit the disable with the skewer. But other than that, it was very good executed. And here he should skewer again in and just finish the. Okay, whatever. Axe buyback, so that was probably a bad skewer in. This budge is so tanky. Anyways, really good play. Even though the Slark died. They use buybacks, two buybacks, this is totally fine. You know, Magnus is alive. And I like the fact that he's buying BKB. I, I, I want to try this BKB mana boots Magnus at some point. I, I think it's pretty legit though. Even though it's not for real Magnus warriors, but it's good. And again, he's doing this thing. Is it that in lower rank brackets, they're just people, supports don't want to buy wards and stuff? Because he's always buying wards and sentries. Like, look at this kid. He's like, bam. And now there's a team fight going on. He's solo smoke. That's exactly what a good Magnus player should do. Try to abuse the fact that he can smoke solo and surprise enemy, right? So, oh, that was very close. Oh, very close. Imagine if he blinked into the trees more. Oh, he tried the force to RP. It was not in range. Anyways, the idea was that he had a really good idea. It's just a bit more, you know, close to the monkey in the trees that I would have been sick as hell but anyways this was like really good i like that he's very fast though and he's like usually when you make these plays uh, if you're not practice you're not as fast so this is what's surprising me. and again with the goddamn words dude i don't know what the hell is this should i start buying words as well as sentries when i play mid or magnus like all the time like, i think it's just really that his supports are not buying like let me click on this yeah they're not buying words or something i don't know what the hell is going on Here there's a fight going on, and this is the impact of the refresher, not the refreshing blink as well, right? Because here, for example, click refresher here. I wish he had the blink off. Hold on, right? Another funny thing is that he is keeping this tumbler toy for like 37 minutes. Usually you wanna, you know, you wanna get some some other items, but he's just loving this tumbler toy. Went Octary now, and he dropped boots. Interesting. And in Gucci, they're about to end the game. Usually you see Magnus plays this type of uh, game. Minute and timing. Oh, that's exactly what happens here. Very good RP on three heroes. Another RP. Then the four staff out. Very clean. Now he bought uh, Travels and he dropped the Etherlands, by the way. And again, he's buying Wards and Sentries. I'm gonna have nightmares and dreams about playing Magnus and just buying Wards and Sentries nonstop. Uh, also, I noticed that he's not buying the Shard or the Axe. 
usually a kind of actually i don't know maybe maybe depends 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 but at least a shard you know i would have loved to see the shard let's see magnus to work good blinking skewer oh he tried dude i know what he tried there and what's more interesting is that when he refreshed he was four staffing from the first four staff and then he was like refreshing at the same time and the four staff got refreshed as well it was very close to get a really cool rp i mean a skewer on disruptor there but uh, anyways that was very interesting i mean his lineup is very good like they, they, his lineup is really good they won all the lanes i think maybe i mean for sure that also has a you know there's a reason in that as well but other than that i would have loved to see the shard i like the the shockwave shard he did the same talents as i did you know the shockwave slow the skewer cooldown whatever you know just typical and yeah i mean i i was impressed he was very fast it's all about playing magnus right now um, it's all about using your spells properly and like try to be as fast as possible you know of course get good at laning stuff like that but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this i enjoyed this this magnus gameplay i hope you enjoyed guys and see you next time boys make sure you click the sub and the like and leave me a comment if you like this magnus take care